Now to this at six, the Humboldt Park neighborhood tonight, remembering one of their own killed hours after the Puerto Rican Day Parade this weekend. A video of the attack appeared online over the weekend. WGN's Patrick Elwood is live in Humboldt Park tonight with more. Patrick. Lotus and Ray, good evening to you. Another group of mourners stopping by as we speak. One woman in that group lighting a votive candle. This kind of a thing has been going on all day. People showing up, just uh, scribbling down on that poster board. Remembrances of Giovanni, who was uh, killed here Saturday night. So that said, from police, there are promising leads in this case. And from the mayor, those responsible will be hunted down until they are found. The signs read, rest in peace, and you are a beautiful soul taken too soon. Part of a bigger display of remembrance for Giovanni Arzuaga, killed Saturday night. City cameras capturing the crime that started with a minor traffic accident. The car, Arzuaga and his companion and mother of their two children, is rushed by a group who then proceed to pull her out from behind the wheel. Things quickly go from bad to worse. Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan earlier today. They are seen uh, hitting and beating the woman who's the driver of the vehicle and then eventually dragging her out. What the video doesn't show is there was a, a shot discharged at some point and you can't see it in the video. And that's, it appears when the female gets struck and then the, the male comes out um, and he's almost on top of her. And then you see that second suspect clearly just holding a gun, shooting him in the head, almost execution style. The ambush takes place at the intersection of Division and Spalding in only hours after the Puerto Rican Day Parade held in the same area. The mayor today calling what happened horrific. It wasn't just one person, but there were others who were standing by who dragged that poor woman uh, out of the car. The individual, um, the, the man who was killed, usually literally used his body as a shield and he paid for that with his life. It's a horrific statement. It's a horrific statement about those men who are involved in that. I don't believe that they are typical by any stretch of young black men in the city, but it's horrific nonetheless. Late this afternoon, a high school friend came to pay tribute to Giovanni. Sean says he had moved out of this neighborhood to escape the violence and just came back to visit Saturday night. And he was just a real, like a real nice dude. Like we even lived next to each other. I didn't like you wouldn't expect this to happen to him, especially living out in Schaumburg. Eric. Is that where he's from? Yeah, no, he's from over here. His parents live over here, but we all moved back that way to you know have a better life. So back live, this group here, every now and then you hear a little bit of a laugh, a chuckle, no doubt, probably sharing some of the better times that they shared with uh, Giovanni. That said, the woman who was with him, his companion, 25 years old, mother of his two children, last listed in critical condition. We're live in the Humboldt Park neighborhood tonight. Patrick Elwood, WGN News, Lotus and Ray, back to you in the studio. All right.